Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be showing you a cold shock experiment, something every crab farmer and seafood transporter should understand. Our goal is to find out how low temperatures affect the survival of mud crabs. Especially during long distance delivery, many people think crabs can survive any temperature. But today, we'll show you that's not always true. We prepared a container of water at different temperatures. One container is set at 20 degrees Celsius, and the second container is at 15 degrees Celsius. Both temperatures are colder than what mud crabs are used to. But only one will lead to death. We placed one healthy live mud crab in each container. We made sure both crabs are of similar size and condition. So the results are fair and based on temperature alone. Then, we waited exactly one hour. After one hour, we took both crabs out and placed them back into our normal holding tank. The crab that was placed in 20 to degrees Celsius recovered quickly. It was still alive, active, and able to move again. But the crab placed in 15 degrees Celsius didn't make it. It didn't move, didn't respond, and after a few checks, we confirmed it had died. This shows us there's a limit to how cold a crab can go before its body shuts down. This experiment may look simple, but the results are very important for real-world crab transport. When we ship live crabs over long distances, they're often placed in boxes or containers with cool water or ice packs to keep them calm. But if the temperature drops to low, especially under 16 C, the crab can go into shock and die. That means if you're delivering mud crabs to restaurants, markets, or even across state borders, temperature control is not just helpful, it's necessary. Knowing the survival range helps us improve our delivery methods. If we maintain the water temperature around 20 to degrees or slightly lower, not to cold. The crabs can survive the trip and stay in good condition until they reach the buyer. This is why temperature testing like this is so important in aquaculture. It helps reduce losses, improves crab welfare, and ensures higher success rates in transport. Don't guess, test your system. And remember, healthy crabs mean happy customers. Thanks for watching. If you find this information useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Ras Aquaculture for more insights from the farm.